Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of 90 Sports. My name is DJ Murphy and if you're checking your TV right now wondering who I am, let me just tell you that I am the producer of Now You Know, former sports reporter, but because several, several of our sports reporters decided to either be lame or decided to go to Washington DC or decided to do something else ridiculous, I am here filling in because I know you guys need your Now You Know Sports. So let's get going. I'm going to head over to camera three, so meet me over there as I go to camera three. Now, first topic today, we're going to talk a little Major League Baseball. I know Lyman Creighton talked about it a little bit last week, but I want to give you a little bit more insider information with two teams I like on the rise, one team on the fall, compared to other predictions. Right now, I am a big fan of Texas and St. Louis, both teams on the rise. So look out for them. I think St. Louis with Holiday and Pujols. Pujols is going to absolutely destroy the league. He's going to destroy the National League. I don't see anyone stopping him. And as long as you have Pujols, Carpenter, Wainwright, in that rotation with Pools batting, I think they'll be good to go. Texas, I think, has been on the verge of breaking through the past couple of seasons. I think this is the one they do it. I think the Angels are down a little bit. I think people are a little bit too high on the Mariners because that offense with Milton Bradley, it's just he's going to self-destruct. Mariners' offense is going to be killed, so I'm not feeling the Mariners. The A's, obviously not good. Angels on the decline. I like Texas on the AL West. And one team that people seem to be high on that I do not think is going to be very good are the Atlanta Braves. I don't know. I'm just, I think the rotation was way above what they can normally do is what they did last year. So I think that's going to decline. And the offense, granted, the new guy, the prospect, Hayward, I think he's going to be great. But I don't know. I think Chipper Jones is a little old. Um, some of those other pieces, I'm not really feeling that much. So Braves down, Texas, St. Louis up. But now let's head on to topic number two. Meet me at camera one. Topic number two, everyone, is a college basketball preview. That's right. I said preview because I know Duke just won the national championship game, but I know people, you know, that's old news. People are ready for next year. So I'm going to give you a super early college basketball preview, starting with some teams that I think have some great pieces. But the big question is, who will go to the NBA draft? I really like Georgetown, especially if Greg Monroe stays. If Monroe stays, I think Georgetown is a title contender next year. I also like Purdue. Purdue has um, Hummel possibly coming back as long as he doesn't declare. Jawan Johnson's there. Uh, Etuan Moore is there. I think Purdue will be a very tough team next year. I also think Butler. Why not? Why not again? Butler. All, most of those guys are young. The only problem would be Gordon Hayward. Some people are thinking he'll be a first-round pick. But I think if he stays, Butler's once again a solid team to beat next year. And finally, Pittsburgh out of the Big East. They were supposed to be in a rebuilding year, and they won 25 games. So obviously, they have some great young talent there. I'm looking at Pittsburgh to do really well next year. Now moving on to our third topic, we're going to go back to camera two here. And uh, our third and final topic, everyone, is Steve Donahue is the new coach at Boston College. Now, I was ready, I think, along with most students for a change. I think Al Skinner was uh, on the decline. I think he had his best years behind him. He did lose his top, one of his top recruiters back when BC was still in the Big East. I think that definitely, you definitely saw the decline in recruiting um, over the past couple of years. I just didn't see the energy out of the players this year. And I think it reflected the, uh, the personality of their coach, which was obviously Al Skinner. So I don't know how I feel about Steve Donahue, though. I really wanted the Richmond coach, Mooney, but obviously that didn't happen. Dayton was also another name thrown out there. Brad Stevens for Butler was thrown out a couple times, but he obviously is feeling pretty good at Butler. So I think Steve Donahue from the former Cornell coach is a solid hire. I'm not sure if it's your long-term, you know, next Coach K at Boston College type deal, you know, the Coach K at Duke, you know, having our own there here with Coach Donahue. But I mean, we'll see what he does. I'm a little excited. I'm just glad we're having a change from Al Skinner, honestly. So I think, um, I think as long as the Eagles don't uh, transfer all of a sudden, all these uh, juniors and sophomores, I think we have, you know, everyone's coming back. I expect a major improvement. I expect a major improvement because all these guys are seniors and have been playing together for so long. So. I'm sorry if I went a little fast for you out there, but uh, that's the way I talk. That's the way I dish it. And that's it for Now You Know Sports. I'm DJ Murphy, so let's send it back to the desk.